Hello everyone, it's Heather from Heather Travels, and I am here again with my daughter Megan. Hi! And we are here to do the last video in the series from her New Orleans trip uh, that she took with her high school music department in February of 2019. And today's video is going to be about the Riverboat Natchez. And hold on, I'm going to sit up a little. Um, okay, the Riverboat Natchez is a an old paddle wheel boat that is on the Mississippi River in New Orleans and it's been there a long time yeah because I've ridden it twice and I think the first time I rode it was with my dad and my brother and I was like 12 <laughs> I think and then I think I went on it again with my dad and my cousin Trisha and I think I was about 15 so close to your age. So um, it's a big old classic paddle wheeler. Both times I rode it was in the daytime. And I also think both times I rode it was in February. Oh, wow. It was February or March because we were there right around Mardi Gras time, either right before or right after Mardi Gras, just like you were, because it was when our school break was. And um, so it was... It was cool. I mean, I remember it being relatively cool. Both times I was in New Orleans, I do not remember it being hot. But your experience was, how was it the weather? Was, it wasn't exactly hot, but it was very humid. Okay. And it rained a lot of days. It rained a lot, Rain yeah. Rain chilled the air. Um, and then, I don't remember much other than that. I don't remember if we ate. I remember that the view wasn't necessarily that appealing from the boat. Um, it's kind of industrial, isn't it? Yeah, very industrial. It's not... It's Lots of foreign... Um, cargo... cargo ships, con container ships. Container ships. Oil tankers. Oil tankers. Um, lots of construction along the... Factories and warehouses yeah. and big port stuff. It's not... It's not pretty. <laughs> um, I'll put... A, the boat is pretty. But what you see from the boat... Is not pretty. Is not pretty. Now, the difference between when I went and when Megan went was Megan went at night. So, when you got on the boat, was it already dark? It was not dark when we arrived there, though there was time to shop in Jackson Square, and I didn't um, She shop just sat and rested because that was the day that she, that was another day she wasn't feeling very well. So, um, uh, but you guys had food. Yes. Right? So explain, you got on the boat, and then what happened? We got on the boat, and it was, um, we sat down at the table, and we had to wait to be um, dismissed to go up to go, it was a buffet. Um, very small buffet, though, and again, a lot of meat. I was actually pretty disappointed um, at the selection. Okay. Uh, you could choose between a pork tenderloin or a beef. I chose the pork just because the beef looked really undercooked. Um, yeah, overall, the meal wasn't exactly... What else did you have? Oh, um, I had some rice, I think. Maybe... Didn't you have noodles? something good for dessert? Yeah, dessert was very good. Um, I can't remember what else I had for the main course, but dessert was amazing. We had cinnamon and banana vanilla ice cream and um, bread pudding, I think it was. Okay. Either bread pudding or custard. Was it warm? It was warm. So um, with the ice cream, that'd be really yummy. Yeah, the pudding was warm and the topping on the ice cream was actually warm too. Uh, it was very good. Did you have drinks or anything? What'd you have to drink? Uh, I think we just had water. Was there a bar? No. Was there any kind of entertainment on the boat? Nope. So Well, actually, <laughs> I think there were bands, but we didn't go exploring. We're... Overall, in my opinion, it was definitely a skippable experience. Was it fairly boring? It was extremely boring. How long was it? An hour? Two hours? And it was... was two hours, because we boarded at six and got back at... No, wait. It was longer, because I thought you got back at nine. We got back at nine. It was three hours. So basically, one hour of eating, and then two hours of just sitting there looking at nothing. Because it was dark. 
thrilling. Yeah. So there was no music or anything. There was music, but um, it was the bands were piped through speakers, and we couldn't hear. Them. Where were the bands compared to where where you were? I think way on the top. Oh. Okay. I don't even know how you could get to them because it seemed like they were on top of the boat. Um, there was a gift shop. But you weren't allowed to go into the gift shop unless you were sure you were going to buy something. <laughs> so that was annoying. Was it small? Yes. Okay. Um, what about the facilities on the boat? I mean, what was it like? The bathrooms um, in the dining, on the dining level, were very nice. Big. Um, the sinks were, like, right in the stalls. Oh. It, it, was, it was weird. Okay. But cool. Um, pretty... I mean, not the best bathroom, but nice. Okay. I did not go into the bathrooms on the upper deck. Okay. What was what else was on the upper deck? Chairs. So just places to sit. A bunch of chairs and life jackets. Okay. And I'm going to put a few pictures like I've done in the last few videos at the end here that Megan took. She didn't get a lot of pictures from the Natchez because, like we said... It was night. It was, it was dark. It was dark. Um, and so... Were there people from the public on yes. the boat oh, at the same yes. time as you? Yes, many people from the so public. So your whole group was on there as well as people from the public. Yes. So 400, 500, it held a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how was the disembarkation process when you got back? Very efficient, actually. Embarking and disembarking was all very efficient. Uh, we got our tickets and then we went right up onto the boat. Um, it was uh, sort of like how you get on a cruise ship. Okay. Um, single file line up the ramp onto the boat. The gangplank. Yes. Okay, cool. So, but not one you would necessarily recommend. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, you know, I mean, the paddle... Would you have gotten just as much from just watching the paddle wheel boat from the dock as going on it? Probably. Okay. <laughs> so, that is um, her review of the Riverboat Natchez. And this is the last in our video series on Megan's trip to New Orleans. And we thank you guys for joining us for this series. And stay tuned because our um, all of our Disney videos are coming up from Disney World. And so you have those to look forward to. And those are going to be on-site vlogs. of our, um, And we're going to do reviews of every place we eat. We'll do a resort tour, um, room tour, all that stuff. So look forward to those. Thank you guys for um, joining us for... This latest video on Heather Travels and Safe Travels. Here we are aboard the Riverboat Natchez. Just departing. Can I go there? down the street, down the muddy Mississippi River. Look at all the dancing up there. Heading up towards Baton Rouge. They do with them dancing dances. This is an empty tank to bring inside. Dancing dances. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think it was just the frosting. I got more bubble oil. So that helped me. Mm -hmm. I took like three colors. Two because it's nastier. Built in the United States. Nastier. Built in 1794. In front of the casino, there's a statue of Jerry and Jack. Get away.